Midweek Politics with Dave Packman on MidweekPolitics.com. I recently had the chance to go to Cleveland for the first time. I had never been there before. I have to say it was uh, it was an interesting place. I don't know that it would be. It's going to be my top vacation spot. But I was there for the PD, uh, uh, PDA, Progressive Democrats of America conference. They were nice enough to invite me out so I could gather some interviews. One of the people I talked to was Dennis Kucinich. Now, I'll be honest, we, we talked a few days before the vote on HCR 301 to remove uh, all troops from Pakistan, um, and that was voted down. So we simply cut that out of, of this interview. If you get our members podcast, you'll be able to hear the full uncensored interview. So here is Dennis Kucinich, of course, congressman from Ohio, who I talked to recently in uh, Cleveland. Take a listen. With respect to Afghanistan, most of the estimates I look at say there's between 50 and 100 Taliban left there. And when I think about the number of troops we have there and the number of Taliban we have there, it seems wholly disproportionate. Does it not? I mean, am I wrong? Am I, is there something, something I'm not seeing there? Or does it not make sense? Well, I don't know what the number of Taliban are, but I will say this. We've got to get out of Afghanistan. We are, there is no na- nation building to be done there. There is only a corrupt Karzai government whose relatives are making off like bandits, who are, you know, whose relatives are building village, uh, villas in Dubai. Hmm. Uh, the, there are millions of dollars uh, of U.S. funds going out of the country to places unknown. Uh, there are... Um, there are unknown unknowns, to quote... Uh, well, 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 here's the way you have to look at it. We know they, they have to. We, we know that when bundles of cash fly out of Kabul, we know that's happening. We know it's American money. They have to declare it. Actually, so as long as they declare it, it's okay. Where it comes from? Well, it comes from U.S. tax dollars. But where it goes to, uh, there's only assumptions. But one thing for sure, it's not going to feed the people of Afghanistan. It's not going to provide for their security. What's an example of where, where you think it's going? The general assumption is that the uh, money that goes into Afghanistan, and, and we're talking about billions of dollars, uh, that there's little or no ability to keep track of it. And so uh, since the Karzai government runs whatever government apparatus exists there. Uh, my guess is it would be going to uh, uh, to support the interests of people in the government that have nothing to do with the people of Afghanistan. Hmm. And, 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 you know, the corruption within Karzai's government and within his family is legendary. Uh, the question is, what are we doing in Afghanistan? That Why are the we there? Yeah. Why... Why do we continue when we know that the U.S. presence has, has fueled an insurgency? Why do we continue to promote an occupation? Why aren't we getting out? Why is there a surge? Why are we permitting more of our soldiers to be killed? Why are there more troop suicides? Why are, are we ignoring the needs of our nation here at home instead of pushing this expansion of a, of a war? Why are we in Pakistan? Why do we keep in Iraq? Why are we beating the drums for war against Iran? Why are we sending 47 warships and 7,000 Marines to Costa Rica? Hmm. What's going on in this country? What, well, sounds- why, why is it that America, suddenly the only definition we have as a nation is, is militarism. The only definition we have as a nation is that, is that we have such great a military power, but we don't have the power to feed everyone. We don't have the power to give everyone a job. We don't have the power to make sure that uh, everyone can have a good education. But we have the power uh, to, uh, uh, to, to take over, however briefly, uh, various nations. Well, you know what? We ought, to, we ought to nation build. We ought to nation build here at home. Well, it seems like an issue of priorities in a sense. And I just heard John McCain last week in his Arizona debate say, more funding for teachers is pork, but what about a tax break for Raytheon and similar companies? Uh, and it yeah. just seems like an obvious priority. Would you call it a difference, a bungling of priorities? How would you describe that, that idea? I mean, teachers, tax cut for Raytheon. It's, to me, it's incredible. Well, it states the parameters of the debate in America. Do we take the wealth of the nation and put it into the hands of a few, or do we help everyone? 
learn how to be self-sufficient. Hmm. And you believe John McCain is choosing to do I, the I'm former. not going to characterize anything my friend John McCain does. I will tell you this, uh, that there's a type of thinking in Washington where people are just there to take care of various interest groups. That's a fact. Uh, 2010, I, I, look, I don't function out of fear, but I am concerned that the United States is going to deepen its involvement in war. Hmm. And it, it, do, you, do you believe that Democrats losing seats is going to... We took over the House of Representatives of on a promise to end the war in Iraq. That was 2006. Here we are, 2010. Maybe there weren't enough Now we're going to promise to end the war again. Who's going to believe us? We've got to... The Obama administration can't just say we're going to pull out troops. It has to pull out troops. Can't just draw down and say, well, we're out of Iraq and leave 50,000 troops there. You know, hello, I mean, 50,000... Uh, or none. No, I'd, I'd, I'd say none. Hmm. Uh, but 50,000, you can't say 50,000 is nothing because that nullifies the existence of those troops. And the argument that the, the uh, differential in the House was not big enough to make it happen, uh, you don't buy look, that at all. You know, we, we need leadership on this. It's not a matter of five more Democrats we, or five less. We need leadership. We don't need, Congress isn't, isn't di dictating troop levels. Absolutely. Congressman Dennis Kucinich, thanks for speaking with us. Well, and uh, if anybody's uh, within the sound of my voice, uh, it's uh, the resolution that would... All right. So speaking with there with Dennis Kucinich in, in Cleveland, most popular guy at the conference. Just everybody wanted to talk to him. It took him, I think, 10 minutes from the point where he sat down to even start the interview because just people coming up to him, pictures, so on and so forth. And he was basically nice to everybody. He was nice to everybody. I should be clear. Midweek Politics is made possible in part by CSR Wire, the corporate social responsibility newswire at csrwire.com, by DIF Design, specializing in custom business websites at difdesign.com. To find out more about underwriting Midweek Politics, visit midweekpolitics.com.